Hey, what's up, Taurus? We're going to get into your read here. It is a bonus read. I did just finish your July reading, but this is going to be another one for you guys for July. Your last reading there just didn't really... I mean, it was just... I felt like there was some drama, conflicts, um, you know, something here that you're walking away from. But um, got everything loaded, ready to release, and then I kind of intuitively felt... Get on here and get a, another reading for Taurus here. There's got to be some better energy. So let's see what's going on. Uh, maybe... Maybe it does pick up, and I'm using a different deck now too, but maybe it does pick up the same energies, but I'm just curious to, to what's going on there. There was definitely that Five of Wands energy, conflict, um, you know, walking away from something here. So let's just see what this reading gives you here. We start off this reading here with Temperance, Sagittarius energy here. What is crossing or what is going to be your challenge here for the month of July? We have the Knight of Cups, Cancer Pisces, Scorpio energy. Past energy here, we do have the High Priestess, Piscean energy here. Very intuitive energy. What is your focus here, Taurus, for the month of July? The Two of Cups. Well, I'm liking the energy so far. Let's see how this goes. But I do feel like, you know, with the Two of Cups being over here, you know, what's crossing you is the Knight of Cups. So... There can be an opportunity and love that is coming towards you. Maybe someone offering something to you. Of course, flip it if you need to. Um, temperance being over here. You know, temperance is a card of patience. So there's a sense that maybe you've been waiting for a, a connection to come across here. For others of you, you know, temperance is a card of healing as well. There's a card of balance. Um, so maybe there's there's different things going on in your life that you're trying to get in order. Kind of picks up from your first reading. Um, but I do feel like there is some sort of connection here that is that is starting here for you. Let me see the possibilities here for you, Taurus. What is going on? Possibilities for Taurus here. We have the Six of Swords. I mean, there is someone coming in here. I mean, there, let me see the near future, though. Because sometimes the six of, six of Swords is also this energy of moving to calmer waters. But when I'm looking at this spread right here, I kind of feel like you're going to meet someone new. Near future here for you, Taurus. The Two of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sag, Energy. Let me see in your power what's going on here. We have the Seven of Wands. Your environment here, Taurus. What's going on? We have the Ace of Cups here. Definitely a new connection, Taurus. You got a new connection. That's good. Definitely a different energy from your first one here. So, I mean, not to say that, you know, it was a energy I was just kind of pulling for July. And that last reading just wasn't, um, <clears throat> wasn't feeling, feeling right. So here, I feel like this is, this is somewhat a love reading here for you guys. I, I do see you guys meeting someone new, or at least if you guys are talking to somebody right now, <clears throat> excuse me, if you're talking to someone right now, I do feel like there's someone here with that Knight of Cups too. Um, it not necessarily doesn't feel like someone's expressing feelings and wanting to, you know, um, start something here. This can be someone here that is ready to get deeper into the connection, you know, taking it to a different level here, you know. Um, if you guys are single and looking for someone, definitely the energy showing that there is a new opportunity in love here with this Ace of Cups. Let me see your hopes and fears here, Taurus. What is the hopes and fears for Taurus? Strength, Leo energy here. And what is the potential outcome for Taurus? What is the potential outcome here for Taurus? Death, Scorpio energy. I mean, there is, it's interesting because your first reading, I don't know, this might be like a part two to something here, but your first reading was you walking away from something, you know, ending a situation, moving towards something else here. This reading feels very new, okay? So I don't know, this is something that is either renewed or something that is, you know, someone you're meeting, someone new here. There is some sort of decision that you're making regarding a situation with uh, with someone. Now, the death card being the outcome doesn't mean it's being, you know, this is ending. I just feel like you've ended something and there's automatically this new beginning that starts for you, right? When there's endings, there's new beginnings. And I feel like you're ready for it. I mean, you do have these seven of wands in your power here. And the seven of wands is that uh, fire energy where it's kind of like um, 
not necessarily protecting energy, not like that nine of wands energy, but the seven of wands here, there is this fence that you're putting up still as a sense of breaking, breaking that down and being open to this connection. But because I see that two of wands energy in the near future, I kind of feel like you're making a decision to move with it. Um, the ace of cups in your environment, I feel like there could be a lot of attention for you in the month of July, you know, just a lot of people being interested in you. Uh, maybe there is something here that you're looking at to see if that's going to work out. But I feel like this Knight of Cups, Cancer Pisces, Scorpio energy here. We have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, um, also fire energy here. I do feel like you're going to make a decision to move forward with this connection. Again, entirely up to you. You have free will, but I do feel like in this reading, I see you having a new beginning here with the Death card. All right, so... Let's take a look at that death card just to be sure, just to confirm things here. Death card for Taurus. The Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag, energy. Heavy fire energy there for you, Taurus. I do feel like you're going to move forward. See, and we're just talking about you walking away from something here, Eight of Cups energy. There's something else you're moving towards. Definitely feels like a continuation of this energy here. What is this two of wands in the near future? What's this decision here for Taurus? What is this decision here from Tor for Taurus? And six of swords, I just looked at that when I was looking at this too. I just saw you could be, again, that continuation, moving away from something to something new here. Two of wands is the four of pentacles. And let's see who this, let's see if we can get some more information on this two of cups. I feel like you're ready to work on something here with that four of pentacles. There's definitely something here about um, also keeping something close to you. Not really telling many people about this connection just yet. Two of cups here for you. I do see the nine of cups. This, this new connection is going to bring you a lot of happiness here. Queen of cups energy as well. I mean, this is someone that is, um, again, feels very new. You know, if you didn't know this person, I do feel like there's, again, that renewal in the energy or something that starts off here for you. Um, but that Two of Cups brings a Nine of Cups energy, so it does bring happiness here for you. Um, I do feel like, you know, because the Knight of Cups is a challenge, it's probably because your Seven of Wands is in your power here. And so you've had this um, boundary, this, this line here, not to open up to a connection. Maybe you've decided to... Kind of just go single, go independent, work on yourself. And maybe you've done that for a period of time, you know, and maybe you're starting to slowly shift and open up to a new connection. And maybe this is a connection that you don't expect. But this is a very, you know, the Queen of Wands is a very uh, attractive uh, personality. You know, the looks, the, the way this person presents themselves. Um, with the death card being over here, like I said, I'll say it one more time. It doesn't feel like there's an ending to a connection. I feel like it's a beginning to a new connection here for you. Um, we also have a queen of cups energy as well. So I do feel like this person not only is a very attractive, very passionate, very adventurous. I do feel like they do have emotions. They know how to express. They're, they're not someone here that is, um, you know, going to um, kind of linger you towards something and just try to act as if they, they're interested. I do feel like this person is going to express what they want. They're going to be very straightforward to you. And, uh, and that, I feel like, is what something you want to build on with this Four of Pentacles, okay? So I feel like that's the Two of Wands decision. Anything else here for Taurus? Now, we do have the High Priestess here, too. So, I mean, I do feel like you, in this way, looking at this situation very intuitively, going with what, how you feel. But also, I feel like there is one person here that is not expressing that Seven of Wands energy, that Knight of Cups being the challenge. So there is a need to express what you want in this connection, okay? Because maybe someone is coming in with this energy to build something with you, with this energy to be with you. And, you know, you need to express, if you're not ready for, a, you know, a relationship, maybe you need to express the fact that, you know, you, you just want to take things slow. You know, again, it can go a lot of different ways, but we do have the Ace of Cups in your energy, or at least in your environment here, which tells me you are working on yourself, but at the same time, you've opened up the door here to new love all right anything else here for taurus anything else coming in here for taurus two cards we have the world new beginning here and that just confirms that death card for me and we do have the four of swords so there is some time to um you know you, you could the four of swords energy is about connecting with the divine you know maybe this is a connection that just 
comes out of nowhere. You know, maybe this is something that kind of throws you off a little bit. And maybe there is a sense where you need to take some time out to think because I do feel like that two of wands here is something that you um, you take some time to make a decision. It's not like something that's going to be like an overnight thing here. And then we do have temperance. You know, that is a card of patience again here. All right. Kind of curious. I just want to see this four of swords here. The three of cups. So, yeah, I mean, th this is something that um, could start off as a very light friendship. You know, someone here that you could be working with or someone that you're already friends with, you know, in some way here. But I do feel like, um, you know, the three of cups en energy that is cancer energy. That is, you know, the energies that we're in right now. It is cancer season. So it could be something that's happening very soon for you as well. All right. King of swords at the bottom of the deck here. Taurus, I like this one. I mean, I do feel like this might continue from a from the other reading that I did, but I do feel like it's bringing you um, something better here because it felt like in the other spread there was a lot of success. There's a lot of things opening up for you, and I feel like this is uh, another energy to show you that you know we do have an opportunity for love for you if you want it. So that's what I see for you. If this does help or resonate in any way, please do hit that like button. Until next time, we'll see you. Guys, have a good one.